for the fight fans joining us and the millions watching around the world. Out of the right corner. Yes, ladies and gents, welcome back to In The Red Corner podcast with me, Ross. I hope everyone's well on this Friday evening. It's nearly the weekend. Well, it is the weekend now, isn't it? Uh, tonight, I'm excited to have uh, Carl Thompson on with me. Uh, he made his BKFC debut in Newcastle against Dustin Teddy Rubiga and put on a fantastic performance. Um, I'll bring him in now. Here he is. Yes, How Carl. Going? How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, that was a big five for you. Uh, perfectly good, man. Thank you very much. Uh, much appreciate you coming on. Yeah, no uh, thank you very much there. for your time. Uh, how are things? Are you, you healed up all right and everything? Yeah, I feel fine. Uh, I was a little bit aching last week, but uh, this week I'm back to back, back to it. To tell you the truth, I'll see if my face is healed up now. So, yeah, I'm all good, ready to go. Yeah, the hands feeling all right still? Yeah, the fine there. The hands are perfect. Yeah. Um, like I was saying in the intro there, you made an amazing uh, debut at BKFC 46 against yeah. Teddy. And, uh, you know, it was it was a great way to... You were in the prelims, weren't you? But well, it yeah. set the tone for the evening for me, that fight. It was like, you know, it was, it was an absolute war between you. Yeah. Uh, t- Teddy caught you in the first round. He did. Stumbled a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it was a great shot from him. And uh, yeah. you managed to pull it back and, and finished him off in the third. Yeah. Uh, is that how you seen the fight going for yourself then? Uh, yeah, I knew. Uh, I expected him to come out and have a good, strong first round. Uh, I did expect him to tire as the fight went on. Obviously, I could see as the fight was going on, he, he, I could see in his face, you know, he was starting to tire. Fatigue was setting in. Yeah. So I knew I could just apply a pressure, apply a little bit more pressure. I knew I would get the job done and finish him. And obviously, I didn't know if it was going to be the third round or the fourth, but I knew as the, as the fight went on, he was going to go and get weak and struggle. Yeah. You both show big heart, you know. It's uh, it's not an easy sport to get into. Uh, you, no, it's you mean, you come from a, you come from a, um, you've had nearly 70 amateur boxing fights, you were saying. Um, yeah. But you've been out the ring for a while. Life gets in the way, kids and work and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's so, good. Uh, how did you get into the bare knuckle boxing? Then how did it uh, how did the how did it present itself to you? Well, I just I, I become a fan of it. I, I was obviously watching it, and uh, I just thought it's it just looked something what I, I I thought I'd be good at, you know. Yeah. So and uh, it was just perfect, just the perfect opportunity arrived, you know. I thought I'd do a bit well. Uh, and he sent me get me on one of the shows, you know, and I just it gives a bit of life back and at least a life back to it, you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, I was just happy, just just happy to perform, really. Just happy to give him a chance to tell you the truth. Yeah. Did you know uh, Bakewell before that? Then no, I never. No, I never. No, you just kind of contacted him and said, "Yeah, I just contacted him myself." Brilliant. Um, I know you were on the fusey the night as well. You were saying you want to be as active as much as you can and and get out again. You're looking to be out towards the end of this year again. Yeah, definitely. I I want as many fights as I can. Uh, you know, if I'm getting on all the shows, I want to go on all the shows. You know, I just want to be active, fight all the time. And uh, obviously, just, I just think it's, it's, it's the right thing to do. You know, I'm 34 now, so I want to have as many fights as I can. Yeah. In a quick, was, quick transition. It was cruise away you were the weight you were at, was it? Yeah, cruise away. Yeah. Cruise away. Yeah. Is, that the, is that the weight class you, you see yourself staying at? Or? Yeah. I, I 93, I mean, I felt good at the weight, to tell you the truth. Uh, I felt strong and good at the weight, but as it drops down to the next weight, it's 84. It's a big, it's a big, a big drop for me, 84. And I don't, it's not just going to get down to it. It's what my performance overall would feel like at the 84. You know, I felt good and strong at the 93. So I just don't see why I would need to change it, really. Yeah. I know it's a good fight out at the 84, but I just think it'd be too much of a drop for me, to tell you the truth. 
yeah, I mean, there's plenty of good fights at, at cruiserweight as well, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, there's no need. I'd rather be somewhere in a way where I'm comfortable at, where I know I'm going to perform well, but a little bit like the unknown to drop down to 84. I just, I just couldn't see myself feeling strong or nothing like I felt like when I was at 93 anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you were saying you you know you watched the BKFC and you thought I, I want to give that a go and contacted Bakewell. You were a fan. Have you been to a live show there before, or have you just watched it on the app or the TV? Or no, I've watched it on the app. Yeah. Uh, no, I never. I've never been to a live show. But I'll tell you what, the shows are uh, something else, like. Oh, they're brilliant, aren't they? They are Absolutely. amazing. Oh, it's unbelievable. I've never never been to something so organised. How good it yeah. was, you know, it really opened my eyes. Yeah. I've been on a lot yeah. of shows, but they were. Else, yeah, though. everyone there from behind the scenes, you know, everyone doing their own little thing and stuff, and it all comes together in one, doesn't it? It's uh, yeah, it runs like clockwork. There's just no, you know, there was nothing, it just ran perfect. It couldn't have been better, I don't think. You know? Yeah, definitely. So, like, not shocked. I obviously expected big things, but just how good it was actually when you see it live, you know. Yeah, God, there's some work it put into it. Hats off to anybody who was involved with it because that's it was brilliant. Was there a particular fight that you were watching that kind of made you think, oh, I want a bit of that? No, I was just there. Uh, obviously, I was watching a lot of people in my way. And I just, <clears throat> general, just general thought, what I saw, when I was watching the app and I saw certain fighters, I just knew that I thought to myself, I could do as good as that. Yeah. You know, I could definitely put the show as good as that. That's what I thought to myself, because I just knew that being given a chance that I would perform. And, I hope I've done that. Oh, you certainly did, mate, yeah. And uh, obviously, Bakewell's happy to have you back. So, I mean, you, you performed really well. Yeah. Um, and showed a lot of grit and determination, a lot of heart, and showed that, you know, you can recover quick and you came away with the victory, like I say. So, it was a great performance from you. Had a bit of everything that fight, you know, everything yeah, that you wanted. Yeah, it did, and... and down, it? it? was a bit yeah. course, wasn't it? <laughs> but like I say, it was a great way to kind of kick off the show. Yeah. Um. Is there anyone in that weight class then that you've kind of got your eye on at all? Or? No, to be fair, just anyone and everyone really. It's just the it's same just as, same as, you know, I want, I want to go to the top, so I'm just happy to find anybody in the way. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Just everyone's got, to, everyone's got to fight. If you want to be the best, you've got to find the best, haven't you? So yeah. that's what I believe and that's what I want to do. Definitely, mate. I mean, there's quite a few good contenders in your way. Connor Cook. I think you and Connor Cook would be quite a good fight. Um, yeah. Connor from Ireland. Um, he's got a good boxing pedigree as well. Yeah. Uh, he's had a couple of bare knuckle fights, but see who, uh, see who, who Bakewell puts in front of you. Yeah, just leave it leave it up to him, man. I'm just happy just to, like I say, anybody anybody at all in the weight class, anyone, I'm not bothered at all who it is. I'll just, I'll just come up. I know I can put a good forms. I know I can beat anybody. Yeah. Uh, do you keep yourself ticking over in the gym all the time then, or is uh, do you have, will you have a break now? Or no, I've had a, uh, I had a break last week. I was in and I've just got myself. I've been off for a couple of runs there. Obviously, I was a little bit aching around <coughs> around my body, uh, but a couple of days I felt fine. And I've been out for a couple of runs there. And I'll be back in the gym hard training from next week. Yeah, I don't want to put too much pressure on my hands. You know what I mean? I felt right. You know. I just thought I'd have a week week of rest and I'll be back at it. Ah, good stuff. And I believe was it Kel Brook was there to, to yeah, support Kel you? Brooke, yeah, he was there, yeah. Got a little picture there of him. There he is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. what's your history with Kel then? Well, uh, I've known Kel obviously off, off the amateur days. Uh also he's got an interest in uh, my friend who's a professional boxer as well, who's in the corner about Jeff Saunders. He's got a bit of interest in Jeff as well, so I think he just wanted to come up and obviously see me and Jeff. Obviously, the BKFC was the perfect time to come up. He's obviously a fan as well, so yeah, I think he was absolutely over the moon. Yeah, uh... oh, like you said, some production there, isn't it? And to, to be well, there yeah. and stuff, I'm sure he'll have seen you know, he's seen it all his fought on the you know, the big stages and stuff like that. And yeah, I think, yeah, I think he probably enjoyed it like when I saw it. Yeah, <laughs> when um. When you were fighting back in your amateur boxing days and stuff, then did it, did it feel much different? You've had your time away, and you said that you kind of bloomed and stuff, didn't you? You put you know a bit of weight on and things like that. Yeah. Was that was that hard to get off, or did you find the more, once Bakewell give you the yes, was it easy to motivate yourself? Yeah, that was it was it, that perfectly said there. Like Susie gives us uh, as soon as I spoke to Andrew Bakewell, and uh, 
it gives a date, you know, you've got something to work to. Yeah. Then you straight away, I would just, I want to dedicate myself to it, which I am dedicated. When, once, if I've got a fight coming up, you know what I mean? I don't do anything. I just dedication to be, to be, I obviously go to work and I go to the gym. Uh, so then kind of like hold my life, if you, if you mean, you know. Uh, so as soon as he gives that date, I just knew in my own head that was it. <coughs> this was my chance to put on a good performance, the big performance. I knew I had to do that. So I knew I had to train hard. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. But we weight down, we died, it was perfect. Felt good and strong at the weight. It was perfect. It was just, I couldn't honest, couldn't fuck him up really. He was giving, him that, giving us that chance. Yeah. With you working around the country and stuff for your day job, I mean, we is we be going to different places, maybe train meeting up with some of the other bare knuckle boxers and stuff, or yeah, yeah, I, I, that's definitely something I, I, I want to do and hoping to do. Uh, I work with the, the lad who I work with, uh, one of my best comrades called he's an ex amateur boxer, yeah, so he does a lot of pad work with us. And that every I literally when I go to work, I train twice a day, so it'll be like pad work on the morning before work, uh, a bit of spa, a bit of bag work. Then on the night, I do all my uh, cardio, so I'll go for a run. I'll do a bike. I'll do that every day when I'm away. So oh, I'm lucky really to have the lads I do around us. Because most of them have been on the boxes anyway, so it's yeah. really handy, really. <laughs> <laughs> it must have felt great to get to you know finally get back into the ring. You know, you've, yeah. you've been out of the ring for so long. Like yeah, you say, life gets in the way. How much you miss it till, it, till, it actually, till you're back then. You've, you've got that buzz back and you're just like, oh. I can't believe it's been too. It's been so long, you know. Yeah, are you hooked now on the spot? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yes, and like I said, I fight any time, any any time, anywhere. Just let me know, and I'll be there. You know what I mean? I just want to be happily, just happily, I'm happy just to be there to perform, and that's all. I know, I know, I'm going to put on some good, big performances, not just now, but in the future as well. Yeah, fantastic, so, mate. I'm looking forward to seeing you get out there again, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, like you say, before the end of this year. Oh, definitely, um, I'll be out. I'll be out before the end of this year, hundred percent. Brilliant, mate. Listen, I won't take up much more of your time. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate you coming on and, uh, and keep in touch. Let us know you're getting on. Yeah, no problem at all. Thanks for having us there. Thanks for having us. No worries. Cheers, Carl. Speak to you Cheers, soon, mate. Paul. Appreciate it. Cheers. Carl Thompson, ladies and gents, like I say, made an amazing debut. Um, at BKFC 46 and uh, you know him and Teddy put on a, a fantastic performance so uh, if you haven't seen the fight go and download the BKFC app you know I think it's only a couple of pints a month you know if you have a couple of less pints a month you can get the app and uh, get all the all the streams for even the card that's on in America this weekend as well you can watch that so uh, make sure you do that thank you to all the new and old subscribers as always jab that like button jab the subscribe button it really does go a long way to, to help the channel. Um, I'm back on again soon with Zenek Pernica. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one, this one. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he fought against Lewis Keane in Newcastle, but he doesn't really speak any English. So I've got <laughs> I've got a translator. or Zenek's got a, a translator. So let's just see how we get on. It should be fun. Be a laugh. But, uh, thank you very much for tuning in, as always, people, and I'll speak to you soon. For the fight fans joining us and the millions watching around the world.